Hello YouTube, my name is El Loco and before we get anything going today I want you to look at this website. This is ultimatedb.nl. This is where all the YouTubers send their followers to for trading tips. Well, they have changed the layout from bad to worse and now it looks like this. Hmm. Okay, I like Windows 8, but this website uh, now that it's all in Windows style, it's totally unusable and I will show you an example about um, in the player database. Nice animation though. Let's see if we can find... Um... Okay, it still works, but it's ugly. Ugly as... I don't gonna name the word. Okay, uh, that being said, that was a little bit of uh, a rant on my part. Please change it back, change it back to the horrible layout, but it was usable. Okay, um, let's go to, go over to some trading. Okay, you're now full screen, good to know. Okay, this is um, my trade pile, as you can see, it's not... Um, <laughs> not the best thing to watch especially because it's boring okay the thing I wanted to discuss today is uh, contracts but not normal contracts we are going to trade with manager contracts because be honest um, the money in this series is most of the time about hidden money um, and I do you think that you will know this experience? You got, uh, you buy a pack, or you get some consumables. I don't know. You just find the manager pack or manager card, and you think, "What the hell do you have to do with it?" Because uh, you don't have to apply them often. You uh, uh, most of the times, if you get a pack, you just discard them or something. But the thing is, I recently checked them out, and Basically, they go really well these days, just like the Brawl cards from the previous video. Let's look at them here. If you look here, Magic Contract. Okay, this is not the best example for 250 for start price 250 uh, going by now 500. Okay, let's dig some more. Okay, well, let's refine the search a little bit. Starting uh, 300. Okay, I'm I'm not showing you anything below 400 because I want you to uh, see the profit that we'll be making in the end. Okay, let's search and then look search for manager contracts. All right one thing noticeable they are more rare than player contracts and they used to be because they um well they were going with too low prices but look at this here's an example of a of a rare manager card so these are easy to pick up and also easy to sell Let's see what the going price for a manager card is. You won't believe this, guys. Okay, search. Like that. Eh. Searching, searching. Okay, let's see what we got. Um, rare, rare, rare. Here's one, one fifty. So just like um, some of the uh, 
formation cards that you that you can make a lot of profit on. The manager cards are the same thing. Um, sorry for the break there. Um, you can buy them for like really cheap, 150. But the thing is that uh, there's not really a steady market for it yet. People need them. It's um, it's a product that they will buy really quick and only what they need it. So what do you do? You buy a bunch of them and you sell them for 500, um, 400, 500, depending on the market. You have to research your prices. You buy them for 150, maybe 200, don't go higher. Um, then sell them for 400 to 500 or 500 to 600. It just, it's just about the demand of the card. If there are a lot of cards, put them below the price. It's normally 400 to 500. Unfortunately, I cannot buy anything now, now because my uh, trade pile is full and my watch list as well. I have like six pages of um, cards that I've bought previously. So I'm hoping to sell a lot of my cards today on my trade pile so I can fill um, the trade pile again with a lot of cards that I have on my watch list. But research this method because especially in the weekend it's tuesday right now to uh, friday almost so what what you're doing you buy them now and in the weekend you will sell them especially at saturday morning till saturday in the afternoon here in the netherlands that's 11 o'clock uh uk time or one o'clock, uh, something somewhere between those uh, ranges, you will have people will wake up. They want to play FIFA with their friends because they just woke out a woke up out of bed after a night of partying and they continue playing FIFA or something. So you that that's a really good time to play and also um, in the weekend, Saturday, Sunday around six o'clock, seven o'clock uh, UK time. So then at those times, sell these cards. Trust me, take my advice on this. I wouldn't put up a video for it if it isn't worth it. Um, okay, that brings this video to an end. I hope you uh, liked this video. If you did, drop a like. If you have anything to add, write it down in the comments. And if you want to subscribe to my channel, you would make me really happy. Just hit that subscribe button and you will be notified by email if I upload a new video. Okay, I'd like to say thank you and see you next time. Bye.